Back. Aiden. Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aiden's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Villador. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Aiden, don't just know what this is. These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that. Tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another. And another. Until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you alright, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. useful. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. 
Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC Tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our... Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Go.
Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Excuse me. Yes? What are you reading? Carnival of the Sad. Into bondage, are you? I'm afraid not. People trying to tie me down? Bad memories, no. No, of course you're not. But don't worry. Maybe you'll grow into it one day. Why don't Juan and Jack Matt, uh, like each other? Because Jack Matt wants everyone to be like Jack Matt. And I, for example, want everyone to be who they want to be. Maybe that's why Juan and I get along so well. After all, the world has ended, yes? The rules have changed. So I do what I want and don't ask anyone for permission anymore. Gotta go now. Au revoir. In the one. Hayden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him.
I worried less back then. Does your sister know what you're planning? It's me, she does, but she's against it. Well, then it's worth she the change your mind. Oh, at last. I don't have to send it back again. Fried, but not overcooked something. Just as I ordered. Oh. Oh, you gotta try it, Vinny. Juan Rainer? <laughs> you lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the commander. And my name's- I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including <coughs> Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox and Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. <coughs> he hasn't an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look. I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. All right, listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But... I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So, you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? 
Like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. you don't have a Come see me back at my place. With we'll talk. Even a drop of pino. Maybe some fruit. Sweets always do me good. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a booze hound. <laughs> Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Thank <laughs> you. 
You there yet? Not yet. I've reached the building, but... How did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. When you get there, stand on it, jump, and open your paraglider. Easy. Sounds sketchy. Name the last non-sketchy thing you've done running around this town. Touché.
Luan? There's nothing left in here. Dan, you said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. Soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. Juan, I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying.
It's a shame to admit it, but I cried when the city lit up. What's the matter? I'm Hugh, and you're the pilgrim who turned on the electricity, right? Word travels fast. Mm -hmm. And word is you you help people. And sometimes. Is that why you called me? I, I need help. My kid went off the water tower earlier and hasn't come back. I'm worried. How long has he been gone? About six hours now. That's a long time. Wouldn't normally worry. Oh, he's such a strong kid. Built like an ox. But it's been such a long time. <sighs> How old's your son? Does it matter? I just want my kid back. I would take care of it myself, but... Uh, but there are three young children waiting for me at home. I, I can't leave them unattended. Okay. I'll take a look for you. It's not safe here. Let's meet in my place after you found him. It's down on Lower Dam Promenade. Gives a shit. Man, I think my 
Tell me you've been Come to the on, doctor. Hey, I'm not mm. going to be it's interesting how this went. Well, I got a bad feeling. As tense as a snack stick. Did he say mm. <laughs> He is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh. If I embarrassed you, I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. Handsome. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? And why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. So I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. There's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in the city. And it's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, 
Someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing's half the battle, kiddo. Well, you know where to go. Today, I'm not so sure. Renegade.
fuck's going on here? I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. Because it will be your final resting place. Right. Oh, great. Hmm. Cables. I've got to find a source of power. Yeah. <laughs> 
Roger. I need your help! You broke into my home. You killed Leto. What else do you want? Me, you nutcase! Why must you bother me? Leave me alone, you hear?
Kill me. Just tell my son I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No, I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? It's some old spy tech. I need it fixed, that's all. Is that all? Well, I have no intention of helping you. 
Oh god, seriously, weren't you just begging me to kill you? That option is still open. Kill me or kiss my ass and leave. What do I care about your problems? We know nothing about each other. So, um, who's the- Vagina Dentata. Wait, what? A major b- I see. Maybe I can help. You don't know what you- I handled that monster down there. Leto. She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Who are you really? I'm a- Right. Like everything- I- huh? I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> what parts? How will I find it? It would be- Alright, fine. And, uh, what's your price? Let's leave that- I really- <laughs> What is this place, anyway? The biggest church in the country. It was believed that a god lived inside. But I've been sitting here for almost ten years, and haven't met one yet. This place is huge. Well, those who built it believed that this way they would get closer to God. But when the epidemic came, it didn't help anyone. Why did you murder those peacekeepers? I didn't murder anyone. I defended myself against people who wanted to rob me. Wouldn't you do the same if strangers broke into your home? I don't know. I never had a home. This is a hell of a hard climb. A marvel, isn't it? A miracle of architecture. The pinnacle of human achievement. Our ancestors' crowning glory. And today, we just climb it like monkeys. I got it. Well done. I can see it's hard to discourage you. Yeah, I'm stubborn. 
Well, perhaps you will be of use to me. Return to me. You have it? Good. <clears throat> Wait a moment. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so... What's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps? defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. One, success. Kurt fixed the bug. I knew you could handle it. But you totally undersold how unreal this guy is. I told you he was just this side of batshit. That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. <laughs> of ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like, uh, know, pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue. Letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has man confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. 
Matt, the lamp's ready and waiting for you. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Juan? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Go now. Have some fun. Black Monday Hall for the death of two million people. to show you. I know about you. You help people. Well, I, I help people sometimes, yeah. I'll pay you, of course. I can't afford it. This is all mine. Mine and my dad's. Not in the market for a new skirt, but... You know what, sure. Tell me what you need. Okay. But this is just between you and me. Can't let dad find out. Oh, so it's his money you plan on spending. Nonsense. I'm trying to stop Dad's girlfriend from spending his money. Elena. She's got him wrapped around her finger. They've only been together a month and she's gone through his savings already. He's even mortgaged the shop. She has to be stopped or we'll have nothing left. Take this. It's all I have. If this goes any further, she'll kill him. Wait, wait what? Kill him? Like she did several so-called boyfriends before him. All fallen dead shortly after falling for her. Do you have proof? How about four bodies? All her exes except the last one. His name is Josh. Managed to escape her clutches alive. He can tell you all about her, I bet. Find Josh. Ask him. It may be the only way to save my father from his own stupidity. Where can I find Josh? Spends a lot of time at Frank's. Half in the bag. Usually after sunset. But I bet he can prove Elena is a killer. Move along, citizen. Will you get over here already? 